Let me first give out this warning. If you are in college and you're in a room with two other people, be very careful about playing this game. This is Army of Two, the 40th day for the PS3. This game can make roommate living awkward. Backstory, I am in college with my two other roommates. My one friend and I decided to go halvesies on Army of Two, the 40th day. We thought it would be fun, especially seeing as we're living together and we can do all night sessions instead of studying for our literature class. So we buy it and it's fantastic. But our other roommate came out once and asked if he can play. Mind you, we are deep into this game. We say it's army of two. He says, can I play? An awkward moment comes over us. It's kind of army of two, not army of three. Yeah. Quickly, the roommate situation became very estranged. I say this just to give a back account of the damage Army of Two can do. Now onward. You play as the manifestation of the male ego, either Salem or Rios. Both are such roided up supermen, it would make Nietzsche stare in awe. The story goes, Salem and Rios are in Shanghai for a job when the Shikaka hits the fan. A terrorist group leads an attack and causes the city of Shanghai to fall into chaos. I mean, the last time I was in Shanghai, I fell into chaos, but that's an entirely different situation. We can take Batty tag. The gameplay of Army of Two, the 40th day, is in large parts the same as the previous game. You will use the buddy system to leapfrog through the enemy attacks. The Argo system is back. The meter at the top determines who the enemy thinks is the bigger tough guy, or something like that. There are moments where the co-op really shine, like you can fake your own death and when the enemies come to take you in, your partner blows them away to kingdom come. Always satisfied. Also back is my favorite part of the game, the gun customizing. There is almost countless combinations of barrels, stocks, magazines, and paint schemes. My roommate and I would spend practically half the game customizing our weapons before the mission. And any point where you can use the money you earn, we would, unless we were saving up for something really special. The game is intended to be played with a human partner, either local or online. But say you don't have any real friends, like my other roommate who wanted to play with us. The AI will take control of the other half of the two and provide a fairly decent time. The computer does its job nicely, providing you with good cover fire and dragging you out of bullet rain in order to revive you. It almost feels like you have a friend who hides in your PS3 and wants to play. In the end, the game looks great, plays well, and gives out plenty of good times. If you have someone ready and willing to play with you through the game, you should listen to the rest of this review on your phone while you run out to buy this game. If you are alone with no friends, hang in there and play some Army of Two and pretend like you do have friends. Right, let's get moving. Time to get paid and now I think it's about beer o'clock. Yeah, let's just get the job done and see what happens. <laughs>